In this Stripe tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create an invoice and send it to your customers. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here then please like and subscribe to my channel so I can keep on making more helpful videos for you. You can also support me on Patreon. I'll put the links in the description. Alright, once you're on the Stripe dashboard, go to the Payments tab, head over to the Create Payment and then select Invoice. Another way to do this is go to the top header and then select Invoice. On the left side you can input all the information and adjust the settings. On the right side you can see the real time preview. So whatever changes you make on this side, you'll see it updated here. And there are three tabs here. When the invoice email is sent, this invoice PDF will be sent as an attachment inside the email. And I'll show you that at the end of the video. This is what the actual email will look like. It has this clickable button to pay the invoice. And when someone clicks this button, then this payment page will open up. If you are creating an invoice for an existing customer, their contact information is gonna be searchable. You can also add a new customer, input their name, email address, and you can go into additional details and fill out this information as well. After that click on add customer. But I'll choose myself for this tutorial. For the items you can select a product that you have already added into your product catalog. You can create a new product or just add a one time item. I'm gonna choose one of these. You can adjust the quantity and you can also use some additional options. You'll have to add the customer address if you want to collect the text automatically. I'll turn this off. And next you have the payment collection options. You can either send a payment request and assign a due date for the payment. You can manage which payment method you want to allow for this payment. I'd suggest you to allow as many payment methods as possible for the ease of your customers. Instead of sending a payment request, you can auto charge a customer, but you'll have to enter their credit card details for this. I'll choose request payment. From here you can select if you want to email invoice to your customer or if you don't want to send an email. Enable this option if you want to include a link to the payment page in the email. Let me explain that if I go to the email tab and uncheck this option then the payment button will be hidden. But I definitely want the button so I'll turn this back on. Next you have some additional options. Let me open the PDF tab. You can add a memo and type your required message in here. It can be anything. And it's gonna show right here. Then you can add a footer and type whatever you want. It's gonna show at the bottom of the invoice. You can add a custom field that will go under the top section just right here. You can add a text ID. And lastly, you can select the size of your PDF file. You also have a template option at the end, but this is a premium feature. You can learn more about it from here if you want. Alright, let's take a look. Somehow this item has been added two times, so I'll delete this one. Once you are done with all the settings, you can see the preview of each tab. Click on review invoice. And here you can add a CC email address if you want. And then click on send invoice. As I selected my email address for this invoice, so let me show you how the actual email look like. So here's the actual email. In the attachment, I have the invoice PDF file. You can see it here. And if I go back to the email and click on this payment button, then it's gonna lead me to the payment page where your customers can complete the payment. So that's the end of this video. In the next part, I'll show you how to create a pricing table and embed it into your website. I'll put the links in the description. If this video was helpful, then please like and subscribe to my channel so I can keep on making more helpful videos for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.